Whether it's Snake, Pinball or Fortnite, most of us have played around with free games. But the latest internet craze just puts you against 6 guesses and 26 letters, and has already been played by millions around the world. But what exactly is Wordle? Why was the game acquired by the New York Times? And how can you download Wordle to keep playing forever? Here's how it happened. Most people don't realise that Wordle wasn't the founder's first viral internet sensation. After growing up in Wales and studying in both the UK and the US, creator Josh Wardle became a product manager at social discussion site Reddit. It was in that role that he helped launch experimental games like The Button, which attracted clicks from over a million users, and Place, a 16 million tile canvas that users could change one pixel at a time to reflect a cross-section of the internet. Then in 2021, Josh quietly released his new spelling game, Wordle. The aim of the game is to guess a five-letter word. Users have six attempts, and after each try get feedback on how many letters they guessed correctly, and how many were also in the correct position, shown by a yellow or green square. Similar in strategy to games like Mastermind and Battleships, the result of each guess can help improve your next one, and there's only one solution per day, with no ads or paywalls in sight. So what makes the game so popular? Wordle was only launched in October, with a title similar to Josh Wardle's last name, who designed it to keep his wife entertained while she was stuck at home during the pandemic. After receiving positive reviews from family members, the game started to gather momentum in the following weeks, going viral as soon as Josh added the emoji feature in December that enabled users to colourfully share their results with friends, an addition that took Twitter by storm. From just 90 players on the 1st of November, Wordle's user base skyrocketed to 300,000 by the start of 2022, and hit 2 million players by mid-January. The game received rave reviews from some of the world's top newspapers, including the New York Times, and the array of grey, yellow and green boxes has become a common theme on news feeds, timelines and group chats. Josh has suggested that the availability of just one puzzle per day helps build excitement by the game's scarcity, plus the fact that players can't binge Wordle means it's hard to get bored of it. The game is free to play and is best found by just googling Wordle and hitting the top link. And while there's currently no app version, confusion arose when Wordle with an exclamation point flew up the download charts in early January. In fact, this version had already been around for five years, and after its creator Stephen Cravotta spoke with Josh, he decided to donate every dollar he'd made that month to a charity that tutors and mentors students in California. Unfortunately, not everyone has been as admirable as Stephen, with fraudulent knockoffs appearing in the App Store that hope to make a quick buck from Wordle fanatics. By the 31st of January, Wordle was just too popular for any company to ignore, and the New York Times announced the acquisition of the game for a fee in the low seven figures, basically a few million dollars. Their intention is to add Wordle to their current portfolio of word games like the Crossword and Spelling Bee. The Times game subscription is charged at $40 per year, to which they already have over a million paying subscribers. And although the newspaper insists that Wordle will remain free to play for now, there are fears that one day it could become exclusively for members. To combat the possibility of paying for the addictive game, users have discovered that since Wordle is played entirely in your browser, it can be downloaded by right-clicking on desktop and choosing Save As. The same can even be done on Android by tapping the download button, and on iOS by choosing Share, Options, Web Archive, and Save to Files. Then you can keep playing Wordle while you're offline, with a solution that changes every day based on the date in your device. Although the choice of settings on the official site is fairly basic, third parties have created their own variations like Absurdle, which changes the solution with each guess, and Nerdle, which uses numbers instead of letters. Not to mention a reported range of 100 different languages for players to enjoy all around the world. Let us know what you think of Wordle, what's your best score, and what's your favourite ever free game. That's how it happened and thanks for watching.